and right. uh, Sergeant Slaughter was another one. Yeah, I'd have to say the only one, the only one I didn't appreciate, and we all know Renee. I was in a spot, I was putting guys over. Yeah, but you've been in the business long enough. You've been on both sides of it, like I have. And when an agent goes, or a producer goes up to the talent that's putting the other talent over, you ask them if they can you do this for us. Can you you ask them, hey, we appreciate it if you can put this guy over. Is he, and you kind of give them the option at my point, like, what would you like to do for a finish? Uh, you know, and obviously you'd say, hey, whatever you want to do, I'll take his finish straight up. No big deal. That's the way an agent politically and, and respectfully in a real way, you know, appreciates and keeps the underneath talent from having low morale to feel like right. you're appreciated and you count. Sergeant Slaughter would do that. Arn would do that. Um, the only guy that never did that and I called him out once was Dean Malenko. Well, did you have an experience like that too? I mentioned a couple of times Malenko. <laughs> Go watch my archive videos, dude. So what happened is, so it, it wasn't just me and that's, that's sad because then that's, a, that, you know, that's his method, which is not the method of a producer. Producer is supposed to coach up both sides of the talent and make them play their part to the best they can. It's almost like you're, you're trying to massage both talents ego in a way to make everybody happy. Um, right. Dean came up to me one time, it was myself and Val, which honestly, <clears throat> myself and Val were even par. Yeah. So it would be in my interest to ask who's going over because Val and I were both getting <laughs> chopped out of the <laughs> You know what I mean? This could be like headbutt on the lockup, double knockdown finish for all I knew. Right. Right. But when I said to Dean, like, he goes, hey, you and Val, eight minutes, and he just turned around and went to walk away. And I'm sure that's the way he did it with you, right, Renee? Oh, and I said, where well, he just didn't give you the who's going over. He just said, hey, you, you know, eight minutes and walked away. And I said, well, Dean, who's going over? And he went, oh, really? I said, no. That's the, one, that's the one time where I said, Dean, I've, never, I've showed you nothing but respect since, you, since you've been an agent here. Why don't you just show me the respect as a fellow like wrestler? I go, just tell me who's going over and what you need. Show right. me some kind of common fucking courtesy. Right. I go, that's right. disrespectful. No, buddy, I didn't mean it that way. And I'm I'm sorry. He goes, want Val up with with the with the frog splash. And I go, I'm happy to do it. Just yeah. Please tell me. Don't yeah. assume that I'm I have no value here. Right. I go, Val's got to beat somebody. If I don't go to the ring, he's not fucking beating anybody. Exactly, man. And he goes, no, no, I don't mean anything by it, Stevie, and that's cool. He wasn't backing up. He just didn't. He the bubble, the bubble, and I, I would hope he's different in AEW, but that and I hold no ill will personally to anybody because I know what the WWE bubble does to people. And when you're out of it, Renee and I can have a conversation, laugh about it like old Marine buddies, and it's all good. 